Hi, this is my little demo of my Anchor Overlay Robo font extension. This is the main window and as you can see there are already some components or mark glyphs as I call them visible in the glyph window. In this part you can see all the anchors that are present in the font. If you click on one of them you can see all the glyphs here, the base glyphs and the mark glyphs which contain the corresponding anchors. If you uncheck one of them, you can set the visibility globally, turn them on, turn them off. So here you can see the bottom attach anchor is here on the Ogonek. If you double click on the mark glyph name, it will go to the mark glyph. If you double click on this name, it will go back to the base glyph. <coughs> Down here you can set if the overlay should be shown in preview mode. Of course you should turn off the visibility of all these so you can see what you're doing. For example, you just turn on the symmetrical mark glyphs if you want to see, if you want to find the right position on top of the E. The alignment is controlled with these buttons here. So you have to click on the anchor that you want to control. Then you can set, in, you can set it to the baseline, to X height or cap height with these three buttons and you can align it to selected points with these buttons. If you don't select a point, then it will go to the center of the width of the glyph. And if you select these buttons holding the shift key, then it will center between the leftmost and rightmost points that you've selected. <coughs> For example, if you select these as well and go to points Y, then it will center it on the stem. If you just select one point, like here, and one anchor, it will move it to the same po uh, position as the point is. Bottom, let's move it to the baseline and center X. Because you should turn one of them off if you want to see if it fits. Very nice. Cap height and center. So like this and both two points are aligned points with the X coordinate and put it to cap. Select all of the outline and the center anchor. Click these two and you have the O slash. The visibility of the anchors is stored in the preferences, so if you start the extension again, you will have the same selection of visible glyphs. That's about it for now. Ah, here you can deactivate the anchors themselves. That's it.